Hi there, this is uh, John Ken again. Uh, for those of you that are used to my videos, I'm uh, an English teacher out in Bangkok and I'm looking to, I've enrolled into Thai classes just to improve my Thai and I'm making like a video diary of, of how I'm getting on. And this is um, lesson six. Now, if you're aware that the Thai language is, a, is like a tonal language and to be honest with you, I'm still struggling with the tones of the language, but I'm trying. So I know all you experts out there, if you just bear with me um, while I get better, and obviously once I start writing, I think um, the tones will start will start um, coming into play then. Really, I'm just looking to get the structures right in the, in the vocabulary in there. So today, like anything in life, you mostly gain confidence by doing the little things first and getting used to and familiar with them. And when I was learning Spanish, I would create small talk Spanish conversation in my own mind as I was walking down the street. Things that were perhaps that I would probably use later or I would find useful. And I think that, I'm, that this is the same in Thai. And when I'm learning Thai, I get used to the small things and gradually I'll stick my neck out and try something more difficult. And today I started to learn yes and no questions in Thai and how to use it. And ma now, ma making small talk in a new language can give you an enormous boost and you can talk about daily lives, about preferences, about hobbies and things that you're interested in. Remember in a previous lesson that we looked at questions using my and chamai. Well today I got more of this and how to and how to look at this in a conversation. So for example, if we look at the question um Kun Ken Chop Tamgan T Mong Tai My Crap Kun Ken Chop Tamgan T Mong Tai My Crap Kun Ken Do you like to work in Thailand? Now we'll see the word my at the end of this. Kun Ken Chop Tamgan T Moang Tai My Crap so this is like a question. So we can say chop crap. Ti muang tai akat di la kon tai jai di. Yes, I do. In Thailand, the weather is great and the people are friendly. Chop crap. I like chop. Ti muang tai in Thailand akat di akat di. The weather is good. Le and kon tai jai di. Thai people are very friendly. Chop crap. Ti muang tai. Akadi le kontai jai di. If I ask, um, is the food delicious? Is Thai food delicious? We can say, ahan Thai aroi mai ka. Ahan Thai is Thai food. Aroi, nice. Mai, this shows it's a question. Ahan Thai aroi mai ka. And we can say, aroi ka. Pompai gin ahan Thai gap puan boy boy. Aroi cup, yes, it's delicious. Pompai, I go. Ginahan, I go to eat. Thai, Ginahan Thai, I go to eat Thai food. Gap, Puan, boy boy. I go to eat very often with my friends. Boy boy is the Thai word for, for often. So I can say, Aroi cup, Pompai, Ginahan Thai, Gap, Puan, boy boy. It's very delicious. I go to eat Thai food with my friends very often. If you want to say Ken, do you have Thai friends? We can say Kun Ken, Mi Puan Kon Thai, my cup. Kun Ken, Mi Puan Kon Thai, my cup. And I can say Mi cup. So you'll see when, when we look at the verb um, and the, when we have a my question, the verb becomes the answer. So if we say, for example, if we, if we look at the last question, Kun Ken, me, do you have me? Me Puan, Kon Tai, my cup. And we can just say, me cup, I have. We can say, Kun Ken, Chop Tam Gan, Ti Muang Tai, my cup. Do you like working in Thai? We can just say, yes, Chop, Chop Cup. Ahan Tai Aroi, my. Is Thai food delicious? The verb is Aroi. We can just say, if we agree with it, we can just say Aroi cup. So have a look at this, you'll see the questions ending in my. We also need to, as I said, we also need to find the verb in order to answer. So if we ask the question, do you like to work in Thailand? Chop Tam Gan Ti Muang Thai Krap. You can see that like, chop is the main verb. And we can answer with this. We can say chop cap, which is the positive. Yes, I do. Or yes, I like. 
And remember, in English, when when we answer with short answers for the auxiliary verb, we just we just use that. We just say yes, I do, or no, I don't. In Thai, we can just use the verb, so we can just say chop cap. Or if we don't like it, we can just say my chop, my aroi, my di, my my me. The second question, the word aroi is the verb. Although in English, this is an adjective, and I guess the closest equivalent as a verb would be to enjoy. So we so we use aroi to say that we enjoy food. Now with the answer again, aroi, just the same as the last one, me, verb to have. So the verb, um, so the answer is me, cap. Some more examples, we've got one knee, kun ken wang my cap. Are you free today, Ken? One knee, kun ken wang my cap. Are you free today, Ken? Ken? Wang is free, so we can say wang cap, tamai cap. Yes, I am. Why? Tamai. Why? Mm, shall we go to watch a movie together? Pai du nang. Do I can cap? Do I? Da, da, start again. Pai du pai du nang. Do I can my? God, that's really difficult, no? Pai du nang. Do I can my? Shall we go to watch a movie together? Pai du nang. Shall we go? To, to watch, do I can together? And we can say pie cup because the, the question was pie do nine, pie do nine. So we can answer with pie cup, T T nine cup, where T emporium at the emporium. So if we look at it, we can look for the verbs wang to be free and pie to go. So have a look at these conversations. We've got kun kun dum bi amai. Kun dum beer mai? Dum cap. Pom dum beer gap pon boy boy. Do you like to drink beer? I drink beer, yeah. Um, I go to drink beer with my, my friends quite often. Kun why nam mai? Do you like to swim? Do you swim? Why nam cap? Pom why nam nit noi? I swim a little bit. So, what about the answers to these questions? We've got Kun te brought it mai. Kruntep, Rotid Mai. Bangkok has a lot of traffic, yeah, a lot of traffic jams. We could just say Kruntep, Rotid Mai, Mark. Bangkok's got a lot of traffic jams. Kontai Jai Di Mai. Kontai Jai Di Mai. Kontai Jai Di, the people of Thailand are nice. Ahan Thai Pet Mai. Ahan Thai Pet Mai. Ahan Thai Pet Mark. Thai food is very spicy. Kruntep, Ron Mai. Kruntep, Ron Mai. Kruntep, Ron. Bangkok is very hot. Pasatai yak mai. Pasatai yak mai. Pasatai yak. Thai language is very difficult. So we say kun chob ahan thai mai. Do you like Thai food? Ahan thai pet mai. Is Thai food spicy? Akat di mai. Is the weather nice? Kun chob tamgan gap kon thai mai. Do you like to work with Thai people? Kun chob tamgan gap kon thai mai. Is your girlfriend beautiful? Could fan so I mai? Shall we go and have a coffee together? Pai dum cafe gan do I mai? So I guess now it'll just be easier to answer the above questions, but here's a guide to show you. We've got chob or my chob, pet or my pet, d or my d, chob or my chob, so I my so I, pai my pai. These are the answers to the to the, to the questions. So kun chob a han tai kun chob a han tai mai? Do you like Thai food? Chob, my chob. Kun um, a hand tie, tie pet my. A hand tie, pet my. Pet, my pet. A cat D, my. D or my D. So you get the general picture, yeah? It's quite difficult, no? So I've got, there's some sentences here that you can maybe translate. We've got, Kau my chob rian. Kau rian pasatai my. Kau my, kau my chai kon tai. Cafe Aroi Mai. So if you just translate these sentences, Kao Mai Chob Rian, he doesn't like to study. Kao Rian Pasatai Mai, does he study Thai? Kao Mai Shai Kon Thai, he isn't Thai person. Cafe Aroi Mai, is the coffee delicious? So I think that's enough today. That was quite a lot, and I'm beginning to see how we can put it together. If you've got any questions, then please leave a message or a comment for me. And as I said before, the intonation is quite difficult. And I know some of the, the conversation that we, that we had in this lesson is quite difficult. Do I, do I can together? I struggled a little bit with that. 
Um, so bear it in mind when we're going through the vocabulary. I feel though that my tie is coming coming together quite a lot. I'm quite getting, starting to get a little bit a little bit happy with it. So I hope you've enjoyed it and leave a message for me on on my YouTube channel or on my on the website if you're watching it here. And always, if you want to help and support us, then please feel free to to visit some of the sponsors that's on my various websites. Okay, so that's all for just now. Thanks very much for for watching. I hope you find it useful and see you soon. Bye now. Bye.